Help me. Help. <sighs> There's no point. No one's ever been able to see me. Maybe I should give up. I guess I'm just doomed to be stuck in this mirror forever. It's so cold in here. So that's the new owner of the house. They seem nice enough. Oh, they've noticed my mirror. Wait, did you just ask what I'm doing in the mirror? No, no, I must be going mad. I've just been in here long enough that I've started imagining that people can see me. You can see me? You can actually see me? And hear me? You can? It's been so long since I've had anyone to talk to. No one's ever been able to see me before. I wonder if it's got anything to do with those weird purple eyes you have. What do you mean you don't have purple eyes? I can see them right now. They're purple. Okay, then maybe something about you changed recently. And that's connected to why you can see me. Have you ever been able to see ghosts before? I'll take that confused look on your face as a no. Yes, I'm a ghost. Or at least I think I am. I'm not quite sure myself. You aren't scared of me? That's good. You want to know how I died? I don't really remember. I was asleep and then I woke up and it was just so hot. So hot and then just so cold. I think there was a fire, but I don't remember. It happened so fast and it was so long ago. I don't know how long it's been. I haven't had any way of telling. Most people who have moved in here have just ignored this room. They can't see or hear me, but they get a bad feeling about the mirror. They know something's wrong with it. Tell me, what year is it? Twenty twenty one? Has it really been so long? I don't remember the exact year I died. This mirror and the time have done strange things to my memories. I know it was in the early 80s, but the time I've spent in here has made all my memories really foggy. Or at least I think it's the mirror that's doing it. I don't know. No, I've never met another ghost. I'm the only one that I know of. If you don't mind me asking, what's your name? That's a very nice name, but I think I'll call you Purple because of your eyes. I think my name was Robert, but the mirror is even eating away at those memories. It's nice to meet you too, Purple. It's been so long since I've heard my name out loud. I think I remember saying something similar about this mirror when I was alive. That it was a very beautiful mirror. It's strange how being trapped in it completely alone for decades changes your opinion on that. How did I end up in here? Well, after I died, I guess, I didn't realize that I was a ghost. I just kind of woke up and there were people repairing the house from what I guess was the fire. 
but none of them seemed able to see or hear me. I was so confused. Then a new family moved in, and I tried to get their attention. Trying to talk to people wasn't working, so I tried clashing pots, moving objects. I don't remember how long it took me, but eventually it worked, and I was so happy. Even if they couldn't see or hear me, they knew I was there. It meant people knew I existed. It meant I existed. The trouble was, they must have thought I was some sort of evil entity, because they brought in this man to... I think they were trying to exercise me, but it's not as if any of them told me what was going on. He had this ancient-looking book, and then he said something in some inhuman-sounding language. And then, everything hurt. And I found myself being pulled into the mirror. And, well, I've been in here ever since. And, and it's even colder in here than I was out there. Yes, I want to be free, even if I can't figure out how to properly move on. I want to be free to move again. No, don't smash the glass. I don't know if it will free me or not, but it's best to be careful. There's no telling what smashing it would do. Can I ask you something? Something simple. Can you please put your hand against the glass? I, I want to feel some warmth. Please. It's so cold in here. Th thank you. C can you place it against mine? This feels nice. I haven't felt warmth like this in such a long time. Please, just hold it for a while longer. You want to help me get out of the mirror? You want to help me get out of the mirror? I don't know how you can help, but if you manage to get me out of here, I would be very grateful. Maybe if you search the nearest library, you'd be able to find some useful... What's the internet? A giant network of computers? That sounds really weird. The world must have changed a lot in the long time I've been in here. I don't really understand what you're talking about, but if you think it'll help me get out of the here, please try it. Thank you. You're a very kind person, Purple. I wish I could do something in return, but while I'm stuck in here, there isn't much I can do. Maybe while you're searching... Could you look into the history of the house? I know I've already asked a lot of you, but it might help me figure out some of the memories this mirror has stolen from me. Please. Thank you again, Purple. I really mean it. Thank you. You need to go now. Okay. Please, even if you can't find anything to help me out, Please come and visit me. I don't want to be alone again. You will? Thank you so much. If I ever get out of here, I'll make sure to find a way to repay you. Goodbye, Purple. I hope you remember your promises to me.